I am a writer who is currently living up in Queensland, Brisbane. I tend to base a lot of my work around research and lived experience of people that are in quite ignored, possibly unknown social realms that are too busy in their own lives to be able to sort of give a voice to what it is that their life is like. I'm currently taking a bit of time to sort of explore other ways to write. So I'm looking at working on a novel as well as delving into poetry. My work tends to have a very poetic bent to it anyway. I'm writing a short film script and two of the characters in it have to make this quite sort of dark decision to basically kill off an old man who's inconvenient to them. And I'm struggling to write it because it's really dark and it's really horrible and it just doesn't seem to have a place or relevance at the moment. We need hope. And I didn't think I'd be so, like me as the writer and my usual choice of topic, to be thinking that, no, I need this to be hopeful and for there to be something that is challenging, but fundamentally, has a bit of light in it. Yeah, I think 2020 for me, because it is just me, I've always been quite hermity anyway and enjoy um, my own company and rattling around in my own head. But what I've actually had to do is to create a bit of a structure around being creative and having several things on the go to do work on so that I don't get stuck in one thing because you know writing something dark or you know delving deep into some sort of psychological whatever I can't stay there for days which I used to do like I now have to swap it out so that I don't stay in that fixed space so A and B came from an idea sort of jealousy actually around the the sort of generations that are that are coming through their teens and their tweens now and you know some even earlier around the idea of gender and sexuality and this sort of this idea of freedom of choice that you you aren't stuck in being one kind of version of a societal norm because I would have loved that as a kid. Like I would have been, I would have been every kind of sexuality, every kind of whatever, just to play around in that world, to really find out who you are. Like there's a real sense of freedom in that. And it's also probably less dangerous than getting drunk and exploring. I think if, because the tricky thing is, is around uh, the, edit that you assume you're gonna have when you're seeing something on a screen you know like you, you just something i've have in my head is this kind of ingrained thing of oh it'll shift and cut and you know do all this sort of stuff which it will do naturally i guess with the way that people speak and this technology sort of turns you know on and off um to people's voices but it should work otherwise it doesn't make it shouldn't make sense on a stage yeah. What I think will be the really surprising part will be how much work now that comes out will be bookended by COVID and by this mm -hmm. pandemic idea because there's, there's nothing, nothing that you can create from this point on will be able to not contain the pandemic. Like anything that's written, you know, is, and set in a modern age, um, we'll have to have it as a reference point. We've had this sense of what can we touch, who can we touch, where can we go? It'll just become fundamental. Watching stupid dog videos. <laughs> <laughs> like literally... There, are, there have been days where it's like, I just need to watch some dogs 
bouncing on a trampoline or running and leaping into water. But also, if I went off social media for several months, I think it was nearly six months, and I found that I was having actual conversations with people over the phone where you just end up having a good old laugh with your mates in that sense. Like there's no other distractions that are going on. But yeah, just, yeah, just a lot of dogs. You need to support the arts. Anybody who has spent three days on the couch watching, you know, some sort of streaming service, you know, that, that's a creative outlet that actors, writers, you know, producers, directors, everybody has been involved in. And those people are struggling at the moment. Like if you don't have a second job or a third job or a fourth job, no artist is surviving. So if there is a way of, you know, saying thanks for the Netflix, <laughs> then contribute to your local art community, to your local performing arts community.